All right, what's going on guys? This is Ghosty here and uh, today I just wanted to go over my current ladder sorceress for season 4 of D2R. Um, this sorceress was fully equipped on day 4. Uh, we're a little over a weekend right now, but um, I just started making the video now. So uh, let me just uh, go through it real quick so you can see what I'm working with. All right, so first and foremost, uh, I'm level 91. And this is a Nova Sorceress. You may have noticed that with the uh, Conviction Aura around my Sorceress here. And uh, I am using uh, an Infinity. And uh, unfortunately, this is rolled a little bit low, but um, it does what it's supposed to do, and I'm still very happy with it. Um, most of these runes were self-found. One of the bear runes was actually traded for, but the other one I found myself. Uh, and that was in a terrorized uh, tower. So uh, I was able to make this myself. Um, the next item that I want to show you is my helmet, and that's going to be a Griffin's Eye. Um, the original rolls are a negative 19 to lightning resistance and a plus 10 to lightning skills. The uh, facet that I put in here was a, a 3 to 5 lightning skiller. Um, that's the only one I was able to find at the moment, but um, it's okay. I, I don't really have a problem with it. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, amulet, I have a Maris uh, with a 24 old res. It's okay. Could be a bit better, but again, this is one of those uh, self-found items that I have, so I'm not really um, complaining on this one. Uh, next is the armor slot, and I have this uh, skin of the Viper Magi here. It is a, a perfect all res roll, and um, I did up it for a little bit more defense. And as you can see, the unroll gives me 50 all res, which is really important, uh, especially when you are using Sunder Charms. Uh, the next thing here is Mage Fist. Uh, really nothing special here, just need the, uh, the FCR and the mana regen. Um, I could swap these out for frost burns, but um, I feel like I lose the uh, the break point when I do that. So um, unless I get an amulet that gives me uh, plus two and FCR, at least ten FCR, then I'm I'm going to stick with the mage fists for now. Uh, the next item is this ring, uh, ten FCR, uh, cold res and fire res, which is really nice. It also has dexterity and strength which does help a bit, but is not mandatory for me. I'm pretty happy with this ring. Of course it could be better, but uh, again, not complaining about this one. Next we have an Arachnid Mesh, uh, plus one skills, FCR, increase maximum mana. Uh, this is really the go-to for any, any caster and uh, it works really well for this build as well. Next ring we have uh, 10 FCR, with uh, multiple res on here. And as you can see, the lightning res is very high and that's actually what I was uh, looking for because um, again, the Sunder Charms really hurt your uh, lightning resistance and this is exactly what I needed to boost it up. Next item is my boots. Uh, really nothing special here except for the fact that it has a uh, high lightning resistance cold res and a little bit of uh, FHR. Um, the map doesn't really hurt either, but I, I, I don't really care too much about uh, magic find for this build, so I'm just using these. Fortunately for me, um, Infinity does have a 35% faster run walk, so it compensates for these boots not having any. So uh, I guess it kind of works out. And uh, the next item we have is this Hellfire Torch, which is rolled pretty decently. Um, pretty happy with this one. I did trade for this one. Uh, I believe I paid a jaw rune for this one, um, but it was well worth it. I really needed the all resist and the plus to skills, so really no complaints here. Next item is this Ani. Uh, also a very decent roll. This one was self found. Um, I've gotten about three of them so far uh, that I farmed myself in the uh, in the season and this one rolled the best so this is the one that uh, I kept on my sorceress. 
Next one is this Sunder Charm, and yes, it is a bad roll. It, it really is a bad roll. I wish I had something that was 75 or less. Unfortunately, um, I haven't found any that were better than this one. I just have not been lucky with this uh, Lightning Sunder, so I'm just using it for now. I could easily trade for a better one. I do have the currency, but uh, I'm not really too concerned about it at the moment. I can always do it later. Uh, next charm is a 15 all rest charm. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I don't really have to tell you what this is for. Uh, the next uh, charms I have is a lightning skiller, another lightning skiller, and a third lightning skiller. All right, so again, very self-explanatory on this one. The next charm is a Geeds. This is really just a random one that I found. Um, it's not mandatory for me to use this, but the little bit of uh, boost and MF definitely helps, um, getting me closer to at least 100%, which in my opinion is kind of like a sweet spot from 100 to 200%. Um, anything that is over 200, in my opinion, is just uh, diminishing return. So as long as I get close to 100, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Uh, the remainder of the charms are just uh, some resist charms. Um, this one's got MF and resist. Uh, this is just uh, little random MF charms that I had laying around the stash. And I also have a lidless wall and a uh, call to arms on switch. Uh, this one actually rolled to six uh, to battle orders and five to battle command, which is really really nice. This is the second one that I've rolled with uh, plus six to battle orders. So the first one I traded for some high runes, which really helped me get my gear in order. And uh, this one I kept. So as you can see, I'm pretty much geared up. Um, there are some min maxing that I can do, but I'm not really too concerned because. This thing clears just about anything and everything in the game without without a hiccup, so um, really no complaints here. Uh, as you can see, most of my resistances is capped. My poison is only two points um, lower, but it's really not a big deal, and that is because of my mercenary, and my mercenary is rocking the cure helmet. Uh, this is an ethereal one and a demon head. Um, and that cleansing aura is really, really strong, and I love it. And I don't even bother using any other helmets because this one just kind of um, helps me get through the game without dying. And this mercenary is also a prayer mercenary, which uh, is going to heal me. And cure will actually also heal you, so it's kind of it kind of stacks. And um, I also use Insight. This is a really, really bad one. It's only 12 med and it's not even ethereal. But honestly, I, I, I barely feel the difference and um, it works fine. As for the armor, I have this Eth Fortitude and I was fortunate enough to get a 30 resistance roll on it. So I was very happy with that. This is also uh, a self-made piece of equipment and uh, works just fine. Prior to uh, having it, I did use a uh, different armor, which was this uh, ethereal smoke, an lacquered plate. And uh, it worked well for, for a very long time until I um, got myself that fortitude. So, um, I have only 96% MF with the sorceress, but as I've said previously, as long as I'm close to a hundred percent I'm okay with that um, I'm still able to find pretty much everything I've dropped several high runes already um, I've had two jaw runes a bear rune um, ohms vexes ists you name it I've, I've gotten them I haven't gotten a zod yet and I haven't gotten a cham yet I even uh, have this sir rune that I found here so fortunately um, I was able to find a bunch of high runes within the first week of playing. Now, um, you may ask me what am I farming at the moment and um, I don't have one uh, particular way of farming but if I do want to 
spend a bunch of time farming gear what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna stomp everything and everything that I come across so regardless of where I go um, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna stomp all the monsters because um, from all the years of playing Diablo I learned that the more you kill the more chances you have to drop good gear so um, I don't really target farm instead what I do is I just go in and just kill as much as I possibly can so when I see big packs like this, I stop and I take them out uh, because, well, let's just say that I've gotten a lot of high runes doing uh, this method. So let's see if we can find the pit. Here it is. And uh, I just go in and like I said, I just clear everything out. And as soon as I'm clear with this area, I'll, I'll move to the next area and I'll just, I'll farm everything that I possibly can. Um, you can target farm if you want, uh, especially with this type of character. Everything is really fast, especially like uh, like bosses, and Daryl, Mephisto, Diablo. Uh, they're incredibly fast to kill, and it's really not a big deal with this build. So let me show you how fast it is to take out uh, Diablo, for example. We'll just run over here, go to the River Flame, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hit all the seal bosses. I'm not going to clear every single uh, mob out here. Maybe we'll do a seal pop. All right, that's the first seal. I'm going to static, clear everybody out. Static again. There goes the Vizier. All right, I'm not even gonna bother with those mobs up there. Clear these guys out. Here's the Sace. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out the Sace. Let me just check this man catcher real quick. Could be something good. And it's five socket, we don't need that. I'm gonna continue on here. Pop the seal, static. Done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal pop these guys. I'm just going to go back here real quick. Activate some of those guys and whoops, there it is. All right. So we'll go back and we'll see if we got any drops here. And uh, resort. Uh, nothing here, right? Okay. No big deal. So I'm not going to get something every single time. All right, and watch this. Static him down. And he's gone. Nice and quick. Let's check the circle it out. A necro. All right, we don't really need that, so we'll sell that off. But as you can see, uh, clearing anything in hell difficulty is incredibly easy. Um, it's incredibly easy here sell this guy off and grab my charms okay so yeah um, some of the areas that I actually really like farming that I feel are very um, are underlooked are areas such as this uh, cave uh, the arachnid uh, nest I believe it's called where is it there it is uh, arachnid lair my, my mistake so yeah this place is really nice because it's it's basically static and you're gonna have uh, up to six maybe even seven elites from what I understand and I've gotten a bunch of high runes from this um, location it's really nice uh, it's quick to access um, you don't really have to search for it like uh, the pit or, or anything else like that so this is a great spot the monsters are really easy to kill here. Um, as you can see, this is a poison immune, which uh, is not a problem. This is uh, no immunes on those guys. So this level didn't have too many mobs in here, but usually they'll have on average at least five from, from my experience. So that's not really a big deal. I really like to do any area that has high density. So, um, 
Worlds Don't Keep is great. Um, Chaos Sanctuary, Pits. Um, Travancore, I do like a lot. Especially if I want to, um, excuse me, find jewel lots of good jewelry and runes. This is one of those uh, areas that you're gonna get charms and jewelry and, and uh, a lot of high runes, so. Really like this place. Um, move on, let's do Mephisto real quick. Throw battle orders and away we go. Durance is also a really good place to farm. I like this place a lot. There are a lot of uh, elite, packs, elite packs down here. Um, the only thing is when I see the Stygian dolls, I, I won't even entertain them because that corpse explosion hurts. <laughs> so I won't even bother with that, but as long as there are no uh, undead Stygian dolls, I will totally wreck every monster in this area. Okay, let's see, where is the turns here? There it is, all right. And uh, after we clear Mephisto, we always clear the council members. Okay, nothing there. I always open that chest because I've gotten jaw runes from that chest. Clear this guy. All right, here's the council members. And yeah, as you can see, this pretty much melts everything. Really no problem. Um, one of the great things about this build is you can actually get away without using infinity, um, as long as you have a uh, as long as you have a Griffin's eye, you can absolutely make this build work without infinity. You can swap out the infinity for a spin it, uh, spirit monarch and uh, basically one of these crescent ones. So as you can see, we've got negative thirty five here and you've got negative twenty two here. So that's quite a bit of uh, negative to lightning res. Uh, if you have more facets, you can actually put one in your Viper Magi. Um, and believe me when I tell you, it works just as good and you'll actually have more resistances. You'll have more faster cast rate and it'll kill just as good. But um, I don't know, I just I just made this. I just like how it looks. <laughs> That's one of the things for me. I, I really like how it looks and I had the runes, so I figured, you know what, I might as well do it. But... Um, it's, it's definitely not mandatory for uh, the sorcerers. But anyway, um, if you like my video, uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions for me, just uh, comment below and uh, hopefully I can help you out, all right? Thanks for watching. Take care.